In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your RAT GDO32 board over Wi-Fi. This process will only work if your RAT GDO32 board has a flashing blue light on it that flashes continuously when you give it power. A continuously flashing blue light indicates that RAT GDO is in hotspot mode. Connect to the hotspot, then open a web browser and visit ratgdo.local. From here, we can pick the wireless network that we want to connect to and enter the password for it. Click Save. At this point, you can switch your computer back. Now we want to refresh the web page. Okay, the next step from here is to go and download the firmware that we need for our garage door opener. So I'm going to get a new window and I'm going to go to ratgdo github.io slash esp home dash ratgdo and uh, this address is in the description of the video okay choose the type of garage door opener control protocol that you need uh, i'm going to be using security plus 2.0 but pick the one that's appropriate for the door opener model that you have and then we have to choose the correct control board the one that matches the board that you purchased. So this demo, I'm using a RAD GDO 32 Disco. And then we're gonna click Download OTA Firmware. Once the download finishes, you can close that window, go to my Downloads folder, drag and drop. You can also just click Choose File and browse to it. And now I'm going to click Update. And the firmware is being uploaded to our RAD GDO 32 board. Okay, it says update successful. At this point, we can go back to ratgdo.local. And now we can verify that the firmware was uploaded. You see here all of the sensors and controls, uh, as well as the firmware version. So at this point, we're finished. We, the firmware was installed successfully. We're connected to our wireless network. And we can go install the RatGDO control board on the garage door opener. I hope you found this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.